Pulse width modulation or PWM is widely used in today's world due to its requirement for controlling many devices in field of electronics. PWM signal is widely used for controlling motors, dimming LEDs and a lot more. So in this video, let me show you a quick and very easy way to generate such PWM signal. So without any more further ado, let's get started. Let's first understand what is PWM. PWM is a digital signal. This signal is set high at 5 volts and low at 0 volts in a predefined time and speed which will be our frequency. This time during which the signal stays high is called the on time and the timing during which the signal stays low is called off time. The percentage of time in which the PWM signal remains high is called duty cycle. If the signal is always high, it means it's 100% duty cycle. If half of the time is signal high and then low, it means it is 50% duty cycle. And we can have any percentage of duty cycle. So to generate the PWM signal, we will use this IC555 timer along with some other components as shown in this schematic. Here we control the output frequency of PWM signal by selecting the potentiometer P1 and the capacitor C1. And here is the formula to calculate the desired frequency. And the duty cycle will be controlled as we rotate the potentiometer P1. So let's first build this circuit on a breadboard and see if it works. After hooking up my oscilloscope, we can see the output PWM signal. And since this schematic is really useful, I converted this schematic into the PCB and ordered my PCBs through glcpcb.com who are also the sponsor of this video. You can order your PCBs only for $2 from the website. They provide PCB service for 2 to 6 layer PCBs at insanely low prices. And now you can also choose any color solder mask for no extra cost which is really nice. You can also monitor the production in progress with videos. Check them out, link is in the video description. Once I had the PCB, I placed all the components as per the schematic and soldered them. After the soldering was done, I tested the PCB and it works like charm. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, then don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe for more awesome content like this and I will see you guys in the next one.